France. Very experienced official, Celtic about to get us underway. The roar around Celtic Park. Great atmosphere. And for Celtic, Scottish champions. Under Start this from Celtic. Ball played in. Carini comes out here with the Celtic supporters after his antics in Turin. It back now, Moravchik. Moravchik with a shot. Pushed around there by Carini. Oh, good move this. Shot though is uh, by the defender who took the pace off. And this one in, hitting it deep. And it goes straight up in the air. Carini though, hopefully accepts it. His early stages. Del Piero. Ball nodded down. Here he is again. Going through. He went down. Oh, the referee is going to give. Meeting between these two sides in Scotland. Celtic had won the uh, previous one. He did see there the goal. Shot coming in. And it's not going to worry uh, Rob Douglas. Well, Nedved going across there. He's a very important uh, member of this team. And uh, I think uh, Lazio are really feeling the effects of not having Nedved. Shot coming in. And that's off target. It's only worth the, uh, the effort there. And Juventus' last visit to Scotland. Moravchik. He had a great opportunity, and there was no off game from Group E. Manchester United have taken the lead in uh, France. And they're going to Solskjaer after six minutes. In the one 0 lead against Lille. Alessandro Del Piero. Oh, yes. Perfectly placed, and Marcello Lippi's side have taken the lead. Well, just like I said, Del Piero wants to score goals. Patik is the leading goal scorer for Juventus in European competition, but look at that. It was the ideal spot for him. We saw him score a brilliant goal last week in the same situation, and here he comes up and he repeats it again. It was the one aspect of Del Piero's game that had been missing for the last 12 months or so, and Lippi said, way to go, Alex. Fast and furious. And, uh, and turn turning. He's in the defenders, the header, Celtic have tied it up. Volheron, the scorer. And Celtic Park explodes. Well, they would have kind of taken out of the game, but Moravchek with some great moves over on the far side. We saw Del Piero make moves like that in the last game for Juventus, this time it's Moravchek. And Valharden is coming through the middle. He scored a goal on Saturday that gives Celtic three points. And he puts the bulge in the old onion bag here once again. What an important goal scorer he's turning out to be. Coming up from his left back position, we knew Celtic and Mark Nunn. This one curling in. Free kick goes for the uh, defender. Never beaten Celtic here, though. And Celtic to go ahead and a gut shot there wasn't too far wide well it was a nice dummy in the middle uh, Juventus they've taken it short Moravchek with the cross the header and Henrik Larsson must be asking himself how he failed to put that one in a free header at the far post and he's nodding it wide Oh, he was wide open. A beautiful ball from Moravchek. Look at that. You would normally bet the house on Henrik Larsson to put that one away. Well, in this case, you'd be homeless because Henrik was heading either, does he, huh? Moravchek now. Well, went for the spectacular. Acknowledges uh, it was the right. Quite been like the Lisbon line since, have they? Yeah. It's a hard act to follow for Celtic. Football has changed so much. They hit the free kick. That's not on. Yes. That's not on at all. Chris Sutter wanted to take the free kick quickly. Well, watch what happens here. Here's what the free kick developed from. But you're entitled to get up and take the free kick quickly if Yersen wants to take it. No. It is Moravchik. Takes a ricochet. Way for a corner. That deflection could have gone anywhere. Got. Away that time by Valheron. Taking a free kick now for Celtic. Now the shots. And it was Takanadi, late replacement for Inga Davids. Well, just 
Celtic basically getting behind the defence does well it nearly an own goal as, and so we get a corner it wouldn't fall there for a Celtic player another great run and the speed of there by Baldé now the shot and always rising just over the top it was Takanadi he's getting closer isn't he He's had that great opportunity. The ball just knocked down to him again. And basically what he's doing, he's just coming out of... And he touched it. Here comes the resulting corner. The header! His first goal in this Champions League campaign. And you can see what it means to those supporters. Well, Moravchek floats it across. And it's simply a case of Chris Sutton. Powerful header down and away from the keeper Balde keeps Ferrar out of the play Chris Sutton walks in Nedviet Balde coming across well, when you look at your three just uh, waiting now we are underway Juventus attacking first half Time to look up, measure his cross. It's nodded away, it's going to be a... Forrest were really going well. Ball play through and Trezeguet has a judged offside. Actually, the relief of the Celtic supporters, but the flag was already up. Well, John Collins was saying yesterday he hoped that Trezeguet would remember him giving him a lift to work when he played with Monaco as Trezeguet is just fractionally offside. He was hoping that he'd go eat. Another well, ball played. And the edge of the penalty area. And what a strike. Picked his spot. And he made it look so easy. But that move started deep in the Juventus half. You've got to give a lot of credit to this to Berendelli. But watch Balde. He allows Trezeguet to go. I spoke about him being the most lethal finisher in the game inside of the 18-yard box. And if that's not a good example of it, I don't know what is. Amoroso stringing the ball around. And Trezeguet picking his spot. And he blasts the ball into the corner of the net. Beautiful goal. by coming across. It's blocked, Pills for a penalty. Here's Moravchik. The outswinger. Now, the referee's pointing to the penalty spot. And a yellow card as well. And he scores. It's 3-2 to Celtic. Henrik Larsson just steps up to it. Talk about pressure. This man knows pressure. Just doesn't let it bother him. He hits it hard. The keeper guesses right. Ball headed down. Driven across the goal. And touched away there by Paramatti. Very uh, coolly. That. Well, Henrik Larsson is getting manhandled there. And caps Ridley. This one comes across. Be better. Hasn't been in the game today at all. And he gets taken down that time. Whips this one in. Ball goes loose. The shot. Chris Sutton gets his second of the night. Up your boy. What a goal. What a strike from Chris Sutton. His second goal of the night. Floated across by Moravchek again. Takes a little bit of a deflection from Balde. And Chris Sutton blasts the ball up into the roof of the Olongian bank. Balde keeps it alive. And Sutton hasn't played very well out there for my money tonight. There's a few players for Juventus that haven't played very well. That's a harsh call against them, I mean. Go much longer than an hour. What a save. Celtic nearly making it to... Five. As he arrived here at Celtic Park, this one played through. And Petter. Petter with the cross. The header. And Sutton that time couldn't uh, direct it on target. Well, this time Petter does finally get a good cross in, and as he crosses it in. Oh, Berendelli puts his hand up here. I think. Okay. Trezeguet goes for the return. Baldé. Trezeguet. International. Reactions there. Lightning fast. And Celtic were really punished. Well, Balde here pulls on the ball and he pulls on it into uh, Trezeguet's path. Watch this. 
Balde with a bad touch there and Treju Gay with an incredible touch I mean this man is just a goal scoring machine I talked about how lethal he was inside of the box a catch beautifully played into the penalty area and a stumble oh Ferraro in the end the channel was uh, closed down Henrik Larsen that's it I think Paramati should get the call there. Sutton seemed to have a good grip. Oh, Bobby Petta got nailed. Ferrara nailed Bobby Petta. Not in a dirty way, just in a physical way. Well, Ferrara got this time for uh, Ferrara. Yeah, he, he's getting tired and he's getting a bit frustrated out there now. And he's and with the free kick. Sutton, oh, he tried to turn and he went down. And no, nothing given. Well, certainly Sutton was pulled down in the box. Let's see if we can pick it out here on the replay. Watch him make the move here as he goes inside. Once again, Uliano is all over him. And uh, Sutton here trying to burst. So comfortable on the ball. Ned Vier, that's taken a deflection. And away for a corner. Mission Ned Vier taking this one in. The header. Offside, the flag is up. Oh, the whistle went and Celtic have dodged the bullet. Oh, they've dodged the real bullet. Very bad moves at the back. What was wrong with the keeper? You're going to see the man on the top of your picture. Is he offside? Oh, that's a very, very close call. He is now offside. Yeah, that's a good... Against the uh, Italian opposition intact.